Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up the iPhone 15 series and transfer data over from an Android phone. So before we begin, make sure you press and uh, press on the side button to turn on the device. So simply press and hold. Here, press and hold on the side button. This will allow you to boot up the phone. Once you are at the hello screen, swipe up then select a language next select your country or origin okay on the next screen choose your appearance default medium or large and then tap on the continue button now say quick start so i'm going to choose setup without another device next connect to your wi-fi so here i'm going to connect to my wi-fi Put in your Wi-Fi password now. Put in the password and tap on the join button. Now wait for a few minutes for your phone to get activated with the Apple server. Next, tap on the continue button. Then choose set up for myself or set up for a child in my family. I'm going to select set up for myself. Then at this point, you can choose to set up Face ID now, or you can do that later on. I'm going to select set up later. Now put in a passcode. So I'm going to put in the passcode again. Okay, next is a transfer your apps and data. Uh, from here, you want to select from Android. And it's a here, move from Android. If you have an Android phone or tablet, you can transfer photos, messages, and more to this iPhone. As it download the Move to iOS app on your Android device, you get started. So here on my Android device, go to Play Store. So when you have an Android phone, open up Google Play Store, and you want to install the app called Move to iOS. So search for the app called Move to iOS and download it. So here you need to tap on the install button. I have already installed it. So now all I have to do is tap on the open button to open up the app. And in here, tap on the continue button, then tap on agree, then tap on continued. Now say so enter one time code. So I'm going to go back to the iPhone. Now, when you are taking too long, your phone will start again. So I'm going to tap on the continue button. And this is the code here, seven. So we go to the Android phone and enter in the code, seven, nine, three, nine, five, two. So you enter in the code that's showing on the screen on the iPhone. Next on the Android phone, it say, what do you want to transfer over? So here you can choose messages and then contacts. Now you need to tap on the allow button to grant the app permission to access Tau's data and then Google account, photo library, and so on. So go down the list here and turn on anything that you want to transfer over. You can also tap on the add files button and then manually add in the files that you want to move over from your device, from your Android device. Now I'm going to simply just select a few items. You can choose um, to select, um, to transfer everything over or only some of the items that is up to you. Here, I'm just going to select a few items because um, this is only a demo and if I select everything, it might take a long time. Okay, so after that, tap on the continue button and send transfer data to iPhone. Time remaining, it is now estimating. And say transfer complete, your data has been transferred to your new iPhone and is being imported. Data that synchronized with online services was not transferred. And you must sign in to those apps on your new iPhone to download it. Now tap on the done button to finished. And that's it. If you go to your iPhone, you can see it says transfer complete, then tap on the continue button. And here you will need to sign into your Apple ID. If you don't have one, you can create a, an account. So here you can tap on forgot password or don't have an Apple ID. So I can tap on that. And here you can also choose set up later in settings. Or at this point, you can create a new 
Apple ID account. I'm going to, to choose set up LinkedIn settings and then tap on don't use. Next, for terms and conditions, tap on the green button at the top and say update your iPhone automatically. Tap on uh, continued, then say iMessage and FaceTime. Do you want to set up that up now? I'm going to choose not now and I'm going to select enable location services. Then you can choose to set up Siri now or later in settings. If you tap on the continue button, you can set up Siri. So here, say so select a Siri voice. Hi. I'm Siri. Then choose the voice you'd like me to use. So choose you a voice later in and then tap on the continue button. And here you can say, you can choose set up later or you can follow what's on the screen. Siri, how's the weather? So I say yes. Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play music. So you need to set five out five times. And then tap on the continue button. Now you can choose to share audio recordings or not. I'm going to choose not now. Then you need to set up a screen time. You can do this later on. So I'm going to do that in later in settings. So tap on set up later in settings. Then at this point, you can choose to share data with Apple or not. I'm going to choose don't share. Okay, we are nearly at the end now. So um, it's a light or dark display. You need to choose between light, dark or auto. I'm going to select auto and tap on continued. Then it said silent mode. You can toggle silent mode on and off or check its status in control center. Tap on the continue button. And so do you want to customize the action button right now? Before it used to be a switch button. Now there is an action button on the iPhone 15. So you just simply press and hold on the button and it will perform an action. By default, this is set to a silent mode, but you can program it. So here you can uh, tap on the customize button to program it. So you can set it to silent mode. You can choose focus. You can choose voice memo shortcut. Uh, no actions and so on. So swipe across and select a mod that you would like to use and then tap on continued. Then it's right here, emergency SOS. Tap on the continue button to go to the next one. Now, finally, you can swipe up to begin use, uh, using your iPhone. And that's it. So now say add your Android device apps from the App Store. So I'm just, I'm just going to choose don't add for now. Uh, in your case, if you are using Toast app from the Android device, you want to tap on the add apps button. And that's it. Um, if you have selected everything on your Android device, you should see all the data transferring over to your iPhone. And it's wireless. You don't have to connect any cable. And um, yeah, so that is how you can set up your iPhone. If there is any steps that you have uh, skipped during the setup process, you can go into settings, such as signing into your uh, Apple ID account. You can tap on sign in. You can set up Wi-Fi. You can um, set up um, cellular and personal hotspot and so on. You can choose sounds, uh, screen time, set a focus, and you can also change your action button. Now, remember, we set the action button to turn on the flashlight. So if I press and hold on the button action button here, it will turn on the flashlight and if I press and hold on it again, it will toggle the flashlight off. And that's it. That is how you can set up your new iPhone 15 series and transfer uh, data from an uh, Android device. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.